Hey everybody, Akira's here. Welcome back to The Long Dark, Stalker Custom, episode number 8. So, here we are at the camp office. We've got ourselves a bunch of wood. We've boiled up a bunch of water. And we're just waiting for things to dry and cure and things like that. So, I think what I want to do is I might go out for a deer hunt. I kind of want to. Uh, we're nice and warm, so that's good. And I just need to get a drink. One thing that is good is to make sure that all your health meters and stuff like that uh, are in the white. They're not red. Because when you go to aim, if you have anything in the red, I do believe anything will cause it to your rifle to shake a little bit more than normal. So let's get a rifle out make sure we have it. Yes, we do. Uh, I think I'm going to go over here and try to bag a deer. So temp out here. 35, it's perfect. So we can quarter it up, haul it back. And uh, shouldn't have any issues there. I want to get a lot of meat because while we're waiting for things to cure, I do want to be able to read. And to read, I need to be able to be well-fed. You know, well, not starving. Let's just put it that way. Not necessarily well-fed, but not starving. So that's the goal. Is that a wolf over there? No, I don't think so. So we should be able to find a deer over here, no problem. And I want, yeah, so I want to do some reading while we're sitting around. Uh, some of you guys, actually, like, almost half the comments in the last episode was like, hey, um, all those books that you have up there on the countertop are ones that you haven't read. Moron. <laughs> you guys were nicer than that. But I was kind of thinking about, like, after the third comment, I was like, yeah, I'm a moron. So, uh, I will make sure that I get that wilderness cooking book out of there, because that's the one I read. I want to put it by the fireplace so I know that's something I can use for a fire. And I'm going to separate that and make sure that I have the unread ones up on the counter still where they should be right now. So there should be some deer down here, typically. Okay. Where are you at, deers? Oh, deer. There's no deer. Wasn't expecting this. That kind of... That was a, that was a tree popping. Kind of screws up my hunt when I can't find any animals. Maybe I have to go out to the lake to do it? Unfortunately, there tends to be wolves out there. You know what, though? If I have to bag a wolf or two, that's fine, too, because I can make a wolf skin coat, which also helps. It can help keep wolves away from you a little bit. There's a chance that you'll scare a wolf away when it sees that you're wearing, you know, its brother on your back or, or its uncle on your back. So... It's like, Uncle Ralph, what? How did you... Well, if you ended up on his back, I, I know I will end up on his back. So I, I better run away. And then they yelp and they run away. All right, well, let's head on back. I was going to say we should swing back into the cabin and warm up, but it feels like 34 degrees Fahrenheit. So no need to do that. It is starting to get to be nightfall, though. It's going to be a warm night, though. So we can go down here see if we can find a deer somewhere. Maybe I'll just have to... I guess we're pretty tired. Probably too tired to go hacking up a deer right now. Which is kind of a shame. Maybe we'll just read. Let's just read then. Well, we got a little bit of... We got like... I could get one. Yeah, I can get... um. I can get one chapter in. I thought I was going to get a deer over there though. No problem. Ooh, it's starting to get dark already. No problem. That's what storm lanterns are for. All right, so this one we've already read. Yes. We're going to take that and we're going to drop that somewhere else. Um, Let's see here. Guns, guns, guns. Uh, Frontier shooting guy. Is that the big one? This one's, I think, 25 hours, isn't it? Yes. Um, Let's start on this one. Let's see if we can't knock this one out. It's only four, four, four hours. I'm going to drop the uh, other book here real quick. Now that I've... Where's that? There we go. All right, so that one's down there. That one's in the burn pile. I'm gonna move this back here so it's not out in the open. Let's head back outside. Hopefully it's a uh, Aurora and we can read outside. Let me see here. So, temperature's starting to get a little cold. Oh, that might be a little too cold. Let's go inside. It shouldn't matter whether we're inside or outside, even though it looks super dark inside. I don't know if we'll get an hour in. We can try. Let's give it a try. I don't think we will. We'll try. There it goes. Go, 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 go. Oh, we we got it. I think we just got it. 
I don't think we had any chance. All right, let's leave the camp office. See if we can find a deer. Maybe. Wait a minute. Yeah, it feels pretty nasty out here now. Yeah, things are getting kind of ugly. There's going to be a storm coming in. Yeah, you can see tell by the clouds. Actually, it kind of looks like the way it did outside of our house for real. We had some like 50 mile an hour, 60 mile an hour gusts at our house. And our house sits up on a hill overlooking like a bunch of farmland. So it's, think kind of like uh, the homestead there on Pleasant Valley. Kind of like that at the backyard. And, uh, yeah, except we're up on a hill. So the wind really gets to ripping around our house. I've never been so hungry in my life. Kind of reminded me of, of what that looked like outside. Um, all right, she's super tired. We're going to sleep well. We're not even, yeah, we're not, we don't even have any uh, condition damage. So I think what we'll do here is we will just uh, top off our drink. I'm going to stow that storm lantern. It just makes too much noise. There we go. And we do need some food, so let's remedy that issue. Fine. Cattail stocks. Why? Has she not put that away yet? I thought I said... Okay, I think she, I think she put it away. I hit H to holster it. Okay, that sounds better. Not sure why it didn't, didn't take the first time. Maybe it doesn't work if... I don't know. If you have bed highlighted? I'm not sure. It's the only thing I can think of. Hey guys, I really appreciate the support. I just want to say that this channel has been blowing up over the last month. If you go to socialblade.com and you look at my stats for Accurize 2, you just search them. Wow. And it's all because of you guys. I mean, I'm to the point where in about a year I might end up doing this full time. And um, it's to the point where my wife is like showing it to fellow uh, doctors and things like that at work as well. She's she's like uh, very excited for for it. Um, if I do that, then it will allow me a lot more time to produce even more videos and more content. So the more you support the channel, and I don't mean through money like Patreon or anything like that. I mean just likes, viewership, um, sharing. That's a huge one. I don't I don't think I've ever really preached sharing that much. But the more you share it to other people on Facebook and things like that, the more that helps out. So um, my short-term goal is to be, <laughs> I don't know, it's probably never going to happen, but uh, be YouTube's uh, game creator of the, of the, of the week. Uh, they only nominate one in, the, in each country, I think it is. I think there's like three in the United States for like music, uh, vlogs, things like that. And then there's one for games. Like right now, Striped is... Uh, one who's uh, Man, who's being anything. featured, but that would be an awesome goal. If I could do that, I would be. <laughs> uh, I, I don't even know what would happen. But right now, I was looking at my metrics compared to his, and he is com and he is being featured by by YouTube's like extra featured by them. Um, so my metrics are like really close to his. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna read out here not because it's cold, but. I don't want to get the cabin fever thing going on. So even though I'll drop and I might take a little condition hit, I'm going to intentionally read outside. And I want to get this book done before we go hunting. Um, I think it'll come in handy. We might actually level up our rifle firearm skill. So let's give it a shot here. It looks like we're going to be okay. It might be warming up a little bit too. Oh, it's too thirsty. Is that... Sorry, guys. Maybe I don't deserve it after all. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Not with that type of... Not with those type of mistakes. Anyway, I don't know. Anyway, I'm stunned. I expect it all to end. Like, I say, I hate being cold. she can't read when she's cold. <sighs> okay. Okay, let's try this again. I'm too cold to think. Let's try this again. Third time is going to be the charm here. Okay, so we're getting warmer inside here. It's not an issue. I was trying to. I, I didn't realize that once you were super cold, you couldn't read. I thought it was just hunger and thirst and 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 fatigue and and light lighting conditions. It's been a long time since I've tried to read outside. Oh, I've never been so hungry in my life. There we go. Finally, it's like we should be on chapter four by now. But let's see how, how she's doing with food. Yeah, she's still got enough for another session of. Uh, yep, there's that. There's that storm. 
I don't know if it happened last night, but it rolled in today. There we go. Let's take a peek outside. I just want to see how bad it is out there. And while we're doing this, things are curing. It's not... Oh, yeah, the wind's... Yeah, it's really ripping up there. It's got to be cold out here. It's only 14 degrees out in the wide open. So, yeah. Not too bad. Could be way worse. Let's go get her something else to eat. Finish off this book. Add it to the uh, pile here with the... Uh, wilderness cooking and then we can start on that 25 hour one because I think rifle is going to be important so I think I have some stuff in here don't I, I have some goodies there we go yeah 54 cattail stocks uh, I'm going to grab a couple summit sodas and a few cattail stocks there we go I do want to get some meat here eventually it won't take long we just need for the weather to cooperate a little bit with us. Oh, wait. I got some over here. Wait, are these nasty? How bad are these? They're pretty. That's sketchy. I'll take that. I've never gotten food poisoned off of beef jerky. No, I probably jinxed myself right there. I, I don't know. But uh, let's go ahead and eat up here. Beef jerky, let's go for it. I should really eat this before I go to bed. Because if I go to bed and... I get food poisoned. I'm just going to sleep it off, basically. I won't get my condition back the next morning. I don't believe, but um, at least I'm not doing it while I'm out on the on on the trail, so to speak. So I don't know why I did that. I should have drank the soda pop. Actually, we've got enough for another soda pop. Let's 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 drink one of these soda pops. There we go. Hydrate. Add some calories. There, we're ready to uh, do some more studying. And it sounds like it's calmed down outside, so I do want to get this last hour in here. It's noon, so we still have plenty of time to go hunt. There we go. Alright, I'm just going to drop it here, and then I'm just going to carry it over. Like so. Oh, wait, I'm going to throw it over. Can I throw it that far? How far can I throw? How far can I throw? Not that far. She's not very good at throwing. Okay, so those those are done. Mm, what's next? Field dressing will probably be a good one, but I, I do really want to kind of get this one. Yeah, I want to get this one by 10 points. That seems like a lot. I think that's an entire level right there. All right, let's head out see what the temperature's like. 39 degrees, nice. Um, Yeah, let's go see if the deer are back yet. I wonder if I can see anything over here. Oh, hold on. Right, right there's a smudge on my monitor. I need to get rid of that. It looks like a deer. Oh! Like a deer running around. Uh, hey deer. You're, as long as there's not a wolf over here. If there's a wolf, I'll chase you towards it. And is that my injured deer? Wait. He looks injured. He's walking different. I swear he looks walking different. Alright, I'm going to crouch here. If there's a wolf, I'll chase him towards a wolf. Let the wolf kill him, and then I'll kill the wolf and get a double. Oh, I've never been so hungry in my life. All right, we're going to get low. All of her stats are looking good. Oh, man, he's changing direction. He, oh, what is he doing? He's trying to avoid me. This one's injured, man. Something ain't right with this deer. I'm going to headshot this one. If it comes towards me. Something ain't right here. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. <laughs> Missed him. Gonna hit him this time, though. That was a hard shot. That was a waste of ammo, though. It's a shame. I knew when I fired that first one, I knew I'd missed. Alright, well. Pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, let's, um... Let's go ahead and hack this thing up. Yeah, let's uh, let's just quarter this sucker up here. All right, so we got our hide, a couple guts, a deer bag, a bag of deer meat, and let's run back. Run it back, yo! I'm just gonna drop it right here. 
on the front patio. Ooh, there we go. Drop that stinky stuff. Let's get the other stuff inside. Maybe we'll go bag another deer. I don't know. It was nice that I was able to hit him right in the chest and it dropped him. Um, it looked to me like that deer was injured. So, not sure. Maybe it had been... No, wolves kill him. I, I don't know. It was walking different to me. What do you guys think? Some of you experienced players, did, did it look like it was limping a little bit? Anyway. Deer hide, cure, and wolf pelt. Let's move the wolf pelt up a little bit. I want everything stacked up. I want to be able to see what I got. Uh, deer hide, where are you at? Let's move you over here. There we go. Okay. So we got these spread out. How much do I need for... Do I need three for legs? Or for for legs? For pants? Yeah, I want to make a prosthetic leg out of my deer. Oh, hey, I never noticed we had an air freshener here that was a pine tree. I never noticed that. Let's see here. Let's go into our crafting menu. Let's take a look here at deerskin pants. You need three of them. Wow. The, the boots are actually warmer for your overall temperature. So I always try to go for those. These are a little bit more waterproof and a little bit more armored. But uh, for me, boots is always the first thing to get. Normally, the shoes that you're wearing are crappier too. So at least you can dress in layers with pants. All right, let's go grab the rest of the meat. We can harvest that up. We got some meat to eat as we study some more books and learn how to survive even better. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Run it back. What is that? Oh, it's just the spotlight. I keep occasionally I'll stop and look at that and try to figure out what it is. And uh, is it four? No, that's a snow. That's a fire. There we go. It's three. Three's leaf decoy. It's an easy way to drop your stinkies or your foos. All right, well, that was kind of fun. The temperature's oh, 49 degrees. Feels like 49 degrees. After playing Interloper for so long, these temperatures are just... Absolutely. It, this is sort of like Paradise Lost. Not in that literal sense of the actual book, but I mean, it's like Paradise that I have not seen for a long, long time. Oh, we got a wolf here. We got two two wolves here. I think they were coming towards me because of the stinkiness of the meat. But I think now they're heading back, so. Yep, they're crossing the tracks. So okay. I'll uh I could declare war on them. And go shoot them and get uh get their hides curing. But the, I don't really need wolf meat right now. Let's go see if we can get a deer over here. If I draw them in and I have to shoot one of them, so be it. We're going to find more ammo as we go. How's my how's my rifle doing? It was in the 90s. Let's take a quick look here. 95 still? All right, good. Doesn't make me feel so bad about not finding a rifle cleaning kit, as long as it's staying in pretty darn good shape. This thing might last me most of my run. And I don't think we're going to find any rifle cleaning kits, guys. Since I set the resources to low, I think I screwed myself there. But that's okay. If if it does get to the point where it breaks or we need... There's another wolf there, but no uh, no deer over here. Okay. He must be hunting rabbits. So, let's head on back and uh, chop up this meat. Get it ready to for us to eat so we're not dipping into our... Dipping into our... Uh, cattail stock reserves too much. I've already had a few of them. I don't really want to eat any more than I have to. I might just shoot these wolves with uh, the pistol though. You know, so we have like a crap ton of ammo there. And I think this is in pretty good shape too, wasn't it? Double check. 95%. Yeah, they're both 95%. That's good. That's so good. Yeah. 
All right. Well, let's head on down here. I might do a loot run over to the uh, Broken Railroad where I finished the Dark Walker series. That area. There's some good loot to be had there. Might go down there. Pretty lightweight. Like, basically a couple cattail stocks and a half gallon of water or so. Maybe three quarters gallon of water and that's about it. And, uh, see what we can get into over there. But, uh, at this point, I think, I think I want to read this book first. I want to make it through this book and get these pants done before I do any traveling. Or, I'm sorry, not pants, but boots. Boots done. So, we got some guts curing there. Is that all the... I got guts somewhere else, don't I? Is that all it? I got guts somewhere else, don't I? Oh, wait, no. That's the saplings. That's almost cured. We almost have ourselves a bow. Okay. I guess we're gonna have to wait for those guts to cure as well. Alright, well. Let's grab this book. Let's uh, head out here. Since it's so nice outside, I'm just going to get low, pick up one of these. Actually, hold on. Let me drop it. I'm going to pick up one of these. I'm going to harvest it. I gotta eat get some. that. Let's use the knife. It should be faster. There it is. 29 minutes. I can do it barehand. Can I do it barehand? Let's just do that. Yeah. Save our tools a little bit. There's no real rush on this. Okay. Let me drop all these. Okay. So we've got some... Yep. The first one was a partial piece. And then two full pieces of venison. Let's harvest this again. And we'll probably do a little cooking here. Tonight. Won't get any reading done, really. But that's alright. You know, I could... I, what I should do is I should just read while I have daylight and then cook at night and do the harvesting at night because you don't need you don't need the light for that. So yeah, I will dip into the cattail stock reserve here just a little bit. I didn't really think that one through, but we can get a few chapters in here before we lose light. Maybe maybe three I think. Drink up. Is that it? Oh I don't have any more water. There we go. Let's read outside. Again, if you spend too much time indoors, uh, you'll get cabin fever and you won't be able to sleep indoors, which sucks for like a certain amount of time. So maybe we'll get two hours. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see if we can do. We should be, definitely be able to do two hours. I'm just going to go for that straight away. She's getting tired too. Didn't even think about that. Dusk, so I can't be far behind. Mm, we're not going to get another one in. Nope, unfortunately. Feels like 28. Okay. Let's harvest up another one of these. Just to tuck ourselves out here a little bit. It looks like it might be 32 degrees now. 36. Alright. Let's head back inside. I don't think I'm going to bother with cooking right now. She's so tired. I'm just going to eat a couple of cattails and be done with it. Yeah, let's do that. We're going to go straight to bed here. Yeah. Going to eat, eat, eat about maybe two or three more. I think we're I think we're pretty close there. Stalker mode I think has different calorie requirements for sleeping compared to interloper, which is more strict or more uh, demanding. Okay, so there we go. Let's take a look here. See how much it takes for ten hours. I guess you can go twelve, but I'm just gonna go ten. That's all I need. 
Make that nine. Yeah, we'll be fine then. Should be all right. She might be a little bit tired when she wakes up. No, yeah, she's quarter way tired, actually. 14 days, one hour, 38 minutes. All right, folks. Get a little bit of drink. Not much. It's amazing how fast you go through water. I need to find food. Mm, you're going to be a little hungry today. Lady, because... Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of cooking here, and then you can have something to eat. But you will be hungry in the meantime. First, I need to harvest. 19 degrees. I think we can do this without being hurting too much. Thank goodness. Made it through another night. There we go. So we got it all carved up. That deer is all pieced out into nice steaks. So we can have deer steaks whenever we want them. So let's go ahead and grab a few. I'll grab six of them. Let's go inside and uh, let's get a fire going. Was it? I didn't even look. Was it a clear day? I don't think it was. I think it was cloudy. I'm trying to determine where. Ooh, no. I should be able to get a free fire here. Yeah, we can get a free fire going here with the magnifying glass. Let me, uh, let me put it somewhere protected. I'm super stinky right now, though, so let me drop, drop those real quick. Call off the wolves. Where is the... Was it on this side? Alright, fine. Magnifying lens, cattail. Oh, I don't have any wood. That's right, I dropped all my sticks and my wood in here. Well, let's use one of these books. There's also a book up here on the bookshelf. Not one that you can actually research, just a random book. Let me grab it. Cattail, a few sticks to get it started, and then we'll run it in here and get these going. I could have two stakes out there, two in here, and one down there. Could do that. You can run multiple fires. That's a really good way to uh, speed up your cooking and also help do with your fire starting skill. So let's see here. All right, let's try this. 75% chance. The trick is if you're going to commit a lot of wood to that, make sure you're in an area that's protected. Like a cave. Like an open cave. Not a, a loadable cave, but a... Like one over in Ravine. is really good. You can just get a whole bunch of fires going. Why didn't that work? Because I'm having... I'm having just some... Normal accurate of luck here with the fire starting, that's all. Come on, little fire. Come on. Come on, free fire. It's hard to get upset when you're getting free fire. I mean, mine is tinder. That's the only thing that's costing me each attempt, so I'm not really too upset about it. All right, we're going to put a little something, something on here. Just enough so we can get at least. Oh, you know what? I forgot to use this. No, wait, that's not the one I want to use. <laughs> that one. <laughs> you guys about freaked out, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I forgot to use that. Okay, so let me go grab a little bit uh, more wood here. Right quick. Alright. Let me grab two of those and a couple more sticks. It should be fine. I don't want to put too much on the outside in case the wind shifts. I don't want to lose all that wood. It'd be nice if you could recover wood from a partially used fire. Okay. Add fuel. Cedar wood. There we go. Maybe a couple sticks. Alright. Let's grab a couple of these steaks. One, two. Cook. Yep. I know they cook faster when they're in a pot, but that one's a small one. So we'll just have to check on that one here in a little while. Oh, and let me grab a torch out of here. So I can use this to get a free start on the fires inside. Oop. Can't pick anything up when you're holding the torch, apparently. Alright, let's... Um, I think we've got, uh, do I, I have that book I can use here. Let's use that. Not that one. That one. 
That's a bit dangerous. Two green books, both of them shooting books. I could definitely see myself messing that one up. Throwing the the really important book into the fire. Okay, there we go. So we got that one started. Alright, let's get the meat in there first. We'll come back here and add more. Cook. Oh, I don't have anything in there. I thought I picked up meat. Apparently I didn't. Oh, that's right, I couldn't. Because of the torch. Never mind. I meant to, but it would not let me. Let me drop. Let me drop my torch. You can actually drop the torch. I forgot about that. Looks like it's going to catch the cabin on fire, but don't worry, folks. It won't. Torch, cattail head, cedar. Yeah, I think they're the same. Yeah, cedar's the same. So let's just start this fire. And we'll take that other piece of cedar down to the uh, one downstairs. Add it. Come on, little fire. There we go. Hey, we had some pretty good luck there once we got the first one started. Okay, so let's add some. How many times am I going to do that? My goodness. All right, now let's try this. This this little stakes won't be done by the time I get this all worked out. All right, inside we go. One minute. Definitely need to add fuel to that one. There we go. Now we should be able to cook. There we go. I don't know why it cooks faster. Looks like it's not really touching the edge of the pot at all. It's like hanging out. Doesn't seem like it would be cooking any faster than if it was just laid flat on the on the burner. But hey, whatever. So that's 45. That's 18. So that's a small piece. I'll uh, drop a couple pieces here. Yep. Got a couple pieces downstairs. So we're ready to go. And that's 40. And... Let's see how these are doing. Yep, this one's ready. Give me another piece. I should just... What you can do is just this. Dang it. That. That's so much easier. That's what I should be doing. 21 minutes until that's ready. 40, 40... There's a small piece upstairs. I think it was 18 minutes, so I think that's going to be our next one to come off. I do have a piece with me to throw up there and replace it. So it might be ready. Almost. Yeah, close. Alright. Let's put this on. 45, 26. Good stuff. Twenty-two. So far, no load loading issues like I was having before, so... Ah, there we go. That big one's coming off. Let's take that one, drop it on there, and we are good to go. How are we doing down here? An hour and 55 minutes? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So here. I'm going to eat one of these. Uh, let's eat a big one. Yeah, let's see you have a nice big meal. Then I'm going to do a little... I can't really read. Maybe I can read. Mm, I can't really read for an hour. These, some of these pieces are too small to read for an hour. They'll be burnt to a crisp by the time I get done reading. And it'll just waste the fire. 45 minutes on that stove. 9 minutes until ready. Let's head upstairs. See how our stove's doing here. 18 minutes. We need to add some. I'm going to add a couple of fir woods. No particular reason. Just feel like it. It won't let you... Oh, won't let, I didn't know that. It won't let you actually drop it into the pot like that. 19. Another small piece? Two two small pieces there. Or two... About to be ready, I should say. Alright, this one's ready to come off. There's one more raw piece upstairs. I think we got just a couple down here. Yeah. That's a full piece. 900 calories is full. That's a partial piece of meat. 11 minutes, 33. Okay. Yeah, we're going to be done here very shortly. 
with all this cooking. But, oh, not what I wanted. Yep, use the pot and use that. Let's do the big one. There we go. All right, all right. How are we doing up here? These were about ready to go, weren't they? 10 minutes and 8 minutes, yep. That'll be next. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Oh, cooking? Does cooking go up? Sounded like it. Something went up. I think we just leveled up cooking a little bit. 1845. Eight minutes left on the stove. I need, I need another... Wait, how much is left on this? 30 minutes? Yeah, we need we need a little bit more wood. Not much, just a little. Hour and 20. Yeah. Uh, 18. I think... Mm, that won't do it. Some water. That won't do it. Yeah, I'll get you some water. It seems like it's harder to pick things up now. Like, when I'm pointing things, it doesn't always get it, you know? I don't know why. I guess I had cedar wood, or uh, fir wood with me, but that might have been a little bit of overkill. I think fir wood burns a little bit longer than cedar. Can I reach from here? I can't, I don't think. Maybe I could. Five minutes until ready. Perfect. Four. All right, well, I don't have a cooking. Yeah, I didn't think I had an extra cooking pot. I was going to start start some water there for us. Get a little gallon of water going or something. I know she was thirsty, so. All right, I think we're about done, folks. Yeah, things are going all right. We haven't burnt the cabin. We haven't burnt the the cabin down yet, so. Twenty-four. Let's just hustle that along. There we go. Can you, I think we should keep this going and get a little bit more water in here. So let's do that. Since we have a fire going, we might as well. No time like the present. Twenty-seven. Okay. Yeah, let's throw that. Let's throw that fir wood in there. Two hours, that's perfect. Two hours and four minutes. Yeah, that should give us that pot of water right there. Completely made potable. We definitely need more wood here. Um, do fir wood. Perfect. Yeah, that'll be fine. Well, now we have time to read. So I say we go outside. As long as it's not too cold outside and read. This fire's gonna burn out, but that's okay. We don't have anything to really use it for right now. So, but we can sit next to it while it's super nice and read our book. Make sure all of our metrics are good here. Everything's looking pretty good. We shouldn't have any issues being interrupted. So let's try to knock out an an hour and then we'll do one more hour. Fire will burn out there, no problem. Alright. Let's go uh feels like 35 out here it's beautiful let's go inside just double check they should have like one hour left yep 47 minutes until boiled that's fine and something close to that 43 yep and we have plenty of fire left in that one I need to double check the fire down here I didn't check it but I'm sure we're good 49 44 yep we're good now let's head back outside read one more chapter come back in collect our water and uh, maybe we'll do another water. Maybe we'll do another one. Yeah, so let's read. No, you know what? If I go, if 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 I read, it's going to go out. Let's throw in some more wood. I want to do one more batch of water. Because if I read an hour here, it's going to go out. There we go. thought about that before I started reading because the water would have been fine it would have been ready to go but the fire would have been out perfect okay let's read 
wasted a little bit of time there, but that's that shouldn't be a big issue. One hour, let's do it. I need to find a place to rest. She getting tired already? It's not even. Yeah, that's right. I kind of started the day a little bit sleepy because I didn't sleep as long as I should have. I guess in stalker you're supposed to sleep 12 hours, which is so weird to me. I'm so used to sleeping 10. Yep, there we go. An hour and 15 minutes left. Uh, what are we doing here? Maybe we'll do one more batch. Yeah. Yeah, let's do one more batch. Really walk with this much gear. I just like to always have tons of water. That's why she's walking so slow, is because I'm carrying around all this this water I keep picking up. Let's get this one started here real quick. Wait a minute. I thought I picked up one. Hold on. Let me get this started first. Drop this water so she can move around. She doesn't need to be getting any more tired. If I get any more tired, I'm not going to be able to study. Dropped it, right? Or did it? Yeah, I dropped. It. Yeah, I hear her sloshing around. That's what threw me off. She's getting really tired. I can't really. Yeah, I can't really uh, study. She's gonna be too tired to study. Could make some coffee here. Oh, that's what I have. I have a bunch of these. Packing these out. Let's drop these outside. Forgot about all the meat I was carrying around. I wonder why it's so heavy. Yeah, these are each two pounds, so yeah, that does it. Nope, oh, want a bigger one than that. There we go. Alright, well, it's a pretty productive day. Got, got ourselves a deer. Cost us two bullets, unfortunately. Due to my poor shooting skills. 43 minutes until melted. Can't read. She's going to get too tired. She's going to say she can't concentrate. It'll just be a waste. What's our weight at now? 58. That's, that's better. That makes more sense. Five. Okay, there we go. Well, I can cook up some more here, too. Let's move this along. So tired. Wait, is that non potable? Wait. Yeah, no. We need to boil that. Picked it up by accident early. Okay. That makes a little more sense. Let's head downstairs. Yeah, she's dog tired. Night's still pretty young. But, uh,. Or pelt. Ooh, that's 99%. That's 99%. That's 21. All right. How about these? Well, not bad. Not bad. I want. I think maybe I put cured guts in there. I think that's maybe what I did. Six until boiled. Let's check over here. I'm pretty sure I have cured guts in here actually. All right, you guys who put in the comments about 20 minutes ago. Hey, you got cured guts in the drawer. You can go back and. Well, just leave the comment there. It's good for metrics. It's good for. It's good for the channel. <laughs> I'm gonna put these actually, normally what I do is I don't hide them in there like that. Normally what I do is I do this. I just, I just put them up here so they're completely visible so I know exactly what I have. Cause these are, these are crafting materials that you use all the time. Whether it's for making line to make fishing line or for, uh, you know, stitching together some clothing. Cured guts are just invaluable. As long as you don't have to travel too far with fresh guts and attract a bunch of wolves. So we got 45 minutes until boiled. I'm just going to advance time on this one here. There we go. Alright. What the heck? Let's get the well fed bonus. 
and see if we can use that when we go over to the railroad. Because I basically have all day where I was well fed here. So I'm just going to see. That way I can pack out another 11 pounds or whatever of materials out of there without being uh, encumbered. So we're going to try to keep our hunger from dropping for three days straight. Then we get that well fed bonus of uh, additional carry capacity. All right, I think that's it, guys. I think that's it. Another two gallons. We're, we've got to be up to close to five gallons down here. And that should do us a good, I would say, four to five days at least. I've never actually sat and crunched the numbers. There, people. That's what people nerdier than I, than I am are on the earth for, so. Okay. That's better. Get our drink on. Okay. And uh, we'll probably end up crafting these boots really quick while we're uh, staying well fed. And um, what does it take, 24 hours or something like that? Oh, it's only 12.5. We should be able to do that. Like, It is fatiguing, though. So it might take two days. But we should have them done here very shortly. I would kind of like to do it now, if, if these will change here pretty soon. I'm just waiting for these to go 100%, because we can knock out a couple hours right now before we go to bed. I don't think you have to be... Like, I don't think f fatigue's a factor. Maybe it is. Maybe I'm wrong. Hmm. I don't know. You know what? While we're waiting... I can't. I was going to read. I keep forgetting about the fatigue messing up your reading. All right. Well, let's pull out another torch at least. Always good to have around. And we'll just drop this one. Hmm. Yeah. Fingers hitting all the wrong keys. Here we go. We got three torches. We don't need that many. Drop. Drop. Okay, there we go. Let's go down here. I'm sure they're 100% now. They've got to be, right? Oh, they're so close. They're so close. Well, let's see what's wandering around outside here. Maybe we can go collect some feathers from the guy across the way here. It's a little windy, but maybe the birds were out here earlier. I don't think I'm stinky. Nope, I shouldn't be stinky. I see some feathers. Wait, maybe that's not a feather. Maybe it's just a part. Nope, it's feathers. Then we got feathers. Let's collect them. I see three. That's enough for one arrow. Right there. Okay. Do we have a fourth one? Sometimes they come in fours, typically. But I don't think this time. I think this time it's just the... Just the three. Eh, I'm not going to complain. Well, there they are. And the sun came out. Just a little windy is all. Okay. It feels like 43 degrees. When protected from the wind. What do we got here? Oh, come on, deer hides. You're killing me. I have a little bit of daylight left. I want to do some crafting. Come on. Okay. Um. What can I do? You know what? Let's tear up a curtain. Let's see what happens now. You're still 99%, aren't you? There, now that's just messing with me. I'm being trolled by the deer hides. Ah! Ha ha ha! feel so worthless now. I think I need two of those. And probably simple tools. And I think we can make the boots. I need four cure guts. Ooh, I need to use all of them? Ugh. Okay, let's get started here. So I can get 35%. Of your... 
check my stats. Things look good, except for my fatigue. I think we're going to be okay, though. Wait a minute. There we go. I'll have fishing tackle, do I? 25 hours. Oh my gosh, use, this, use the sewing kit. Let's try for two. Yes! Fatigue does not affect you when it comes to crafting. I think we'll get another hour in, guys. Let's check, make sure we don't need food or water. We don't. Let's do another hour before it gets too dark. Darkness will. All right, wonderful. Okay, so let's uh, let's go get ourselves some sleep here. How much food do I have? Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and throw it on board. Then let's drink. Wonderful. And let's get this young lady 12 hours of sleep. Well-deserved sleep. There we go. I'll see you guys in the morning. Ooh, I'm excited to get these boots. I don't want to end this episode until we get the boots. It's 51 minutes, but I insist we're going to get these boots done. So let's work fast, folks. Let's work with purpose. But first, let's drink some water. 15 days, 3 hours, and change. That's how long we've been surviving. Alright, good stuff. How are we doing over here? 36%, 36. 81. Cured, cured. We can also make a bow as well, but priority is the boots. We, that's what we want to get done in this episode. 9 hours, okay. Let's go 3 hours. Keep an eye on my water. That's the thing that's going to run out first. Or anything else. Alright, let's do another two hours. Oh, I must have broke the uh must have broke the old sewing kit. I got another one around here, don't I? Oh, I got two more cured deer hides in here. That means I got another one curing. I can make the pants as well. I don't have enough guts. Why am I carrying guts? I need to drop that crap. Why why did Oh, that's the cured guts. That's what I'm using for the boots. I that always that always gets me too. Okay, so I have a sewing kit I believe in here. I have extra ones. Yeah, I got a bunch of them. Okay, we'll just grab two of them. I know I don't need two of them, but whatever. I can always put one back later. We're not going anywhere. Your skin boots, 100%. So we did get credit, partial credit for the time we worked. Uh, let's go ahead and start crafting here again. I could eat a horse. She's getting hungry. I'm going to need to eat again. There we go. Three and a half hours left. Not bad. Let's go get ourselves some real food. Real food from the front yard. 300 calories. Fine. Fine. Let's eat both of those. Then get her something to drink. And then finish this off. And finish off this episode the right way. Nice drink. Or, I'm sorry, eat. <laughs> nice. Nice drink. No, that was food. There we go. That's a nice drink. Okay, let's finish it off. Three and a half hours. We can knock this out. No problem. Oh, we got plenty of time. We can just coast into the end zone here. Just high step right into the end zone. We'll just do it all right now. Why not? Then we'll put these boots on. Oh, they're done. Look at that. I love it. Let's take a look at our inventory. Take a look at our clothes. Get rid of these crappy boots. Well, actually, they're not too bad. You know, they serve us well. But these are going to be so much better. Look at the windproof. Extra degree and a half. So watch the warmth bonus here. In the in the windproof. Twenty five, from twenty three to twenty five, and from seven to nine. Nice. So I'm going to drop these, and we can tear these up into, into uh, cured leather whenever we're ready for it. And um, let's see here. I'm going to need more guts is what I'm going to need. I'm going to pull these out of here because I didn't even realize I had them in there. 
I'm just gonna play. I'm just gonna lay him out here. Put the guts up here, I think. They're pretty visible up there. Shouldn't be missed. I just don't want to cover them up with the deer hides. That's the main thing. Okay, drop. And we'll move over. We'll drop that one. I'm not carrying anything that needs to be cured. So we should be good there. Okay. Alright, guys. Let's give her one more drink here. Going for that well-fed bonus. So we can travel over to uh, Broken Railroad. The maintenance yard. And that huge hunting lodge up there. And maybe get some more goodies. Bring them back to aid in our survival in this beautiful, beautiful Arctic wasteland apocalypse. So, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you haven't subscribed yet. So you get alerted whenever I drop new videos, which is quite often. Thank you guys for making this all possible. Thank you for blowing up the channel this, uh, this month. It's been incredible. It's really... I mean, I don't know. It's just amazing. So... I'll see you guys in the next one. Y'all take care.